In this section, we'll be taking a look at models in EmberJS. To better understand models, we'll be making use of a library called Ember Data Library, using which we'll be creating our model and making use of it. So, Ember Data is a library that integrates tightly with EmberJS to make it easy to retrieve records from a server, cache them for performance save, updates back to the server, and create new records on the client. You can follow the instructions in section 1 to download Ember Data JavaScript file and you can then include it in your application like we have done it over here in our index.html file. Here you can see that emberdata.js. Now in order to better understand models in Ember.js, we first have to understand some of the core concepts that Ember Data brings. The first thing is the store object. Store can be considered as a central repository of records in our application. We can think of the store as a cache of all the records available in our application. Both the application's controllers and routes have access to this shared store. When they need to display or modify a record, they'll first ask the store for it. The instance of ds.store is created for us automatically and is shared among all of the objects in our application. We'll be using the store to retrieve records as well as to create new ones in the upcoming lectures. Next concept is model. A model basically is a class that defines the properties and behavior of the data that you present to the user. Anything that the user expects to see if they leave your application and come back later. Models define the type of data that will be provided by your server. For example, let's consider a course model which might have a title, author, price, online URL to buy that course and these might have a different data type like the title and the author can be string, the published date of a course can be a date and so on and so forth. The advanced topics of model is covered under section 6 where we talk about the relationships between two different models and the different adapters that are available to play with our model that is fixture and rest adapter using rest adapter you can communicate with the server and get the data from the server store it in your model and then display it in your template the next in line is record a record is an instance of a model that contains data loaded from server or a local repository our application can also create new records and save them back to the server or if you are making use of fixture adapter we'll be saving it in cache a record is uniquely identified by its model type and i so if i have to find a course the model will be course and to uniquely identify it i'll be having an attribute called id then we have adapter an adapter is an object that knows about your particular server backend and is responsible for translating requests for and changes to records into the appropriate calls to your server the store will automatically cache records for you if a record had already been loaded asking for it a second time will always return the same object instance this minimizes the number of round trips to the server and allows your application to render its UI to the user as fast as possible. For example, the first time your application asks for the course object with an ID, let's say 1, it will fetch that information from server or from the local repository if we are making use of fixture adapter and then it will cache it. So this was more of a theoretical introduction to models in EmberJS. In the next lecture, we'll see how we can create models in EmberJS.